Welcome to Learning Spanish with Mr. A. So what I want to talk to you about today is actually something that I honestly think that is the starting point of everything in Spanish. Okay, so <clears throat> basically think about it this way. When you say something, anything in any language, it's basically a sentence that you are going to say out loud, right? If you say, uh, hello, my name is Paul, I am from, I am 15 years old, whatever you want to say, you have a sentence. And in order to get a sentence to come to life, you have to have a verb. Now, the thing is, you have to use those verbs, okay, in any given language, in different tenses, okay? So that you can actually locate or relocate the action in the present, future, past, or conditional, right? So that being said, if you don't understand the basic form of the verb itself, there is absolutely no way that you're going to be able to perform efficiently in Spanish, Italian, French, German, whatever you want to call it, okay? What, whichever language you want to go for. In this case, we're looking at Spanish, right? So, what I want you to understand is, first of all, I ask the question, what is an infinitive? An infinitive. But whenever you hear that word infinitive, okay, in English, just like in Spanish, as a matter of fact, it is the basic form of the verb, of any verb, of a verb, okay? Now, see what I did here, I wrote it down like this, that you could actually take notes, put that in your notebook, and try to keep up with it, okay? Any verbs in English that start with T-O, to. Like, for instance, if I said to speak, I'm saying the verb to speak. To speak is the basic form of speak, right? It's to speak. Now, let's say you want to take the verb to speak and you want to bring that into the present. You're going to say, I speak every day, okay? Let's say you want to say it in the future, I will speak tomorrow. You want to say it in the past, I spoke yesterday. But you relate to a tense, and in the meantime, you relate to a subject, okay? But all that together relates to one thing the basic form of the verb, which is the infinitive. In English, it's when you add TO in the front of the verb. That is the starting point, okay? So as you can see, you've got to have marks so that you can actually see where you're going. It's a matter of learning the rules and applying them efficiently. Uh, you have to be structured and organized. So, in, in English, it's so easy because all you do is add TO to the front of the verb and you know, well, that's the verb I'm dealing with. Well, in Spanish, the TO is going to pretty much show up as AR, ER, or IR, okay? So what you got here, I wrote down three verbs, but what I did here, I wrote three verbs that end with three different endings. The first group verb is the AR verbs, such as hablar, which now you've guessed it, you can see it right here. It is to speak, right? Hablar. The second one is to eat. Spanish is going to be comer. So, see, now you have an ER sound, okay? And then to live, yeah, to live your life, that is going to be vivir. Now, I want you to understand this. In English, you only have TO to emphasize the infinitive, the basic form of the verb. But in Spanish, you can have AR endings, ER endings, or IR endings, okay? It is extremely important that you remember that because as we go through the tenses, we will be relating the verbs to their infinitive because the infinitive will define the endings of the verb as you change the subject, as you pretty much conjugate the verb. Like if you say the singular of, of to eat, in the first singular, to eat, you're going to say, in the present tense, you're going to say, I eat, okay, in English. All right, the second, you're going to say, you eat. The third, you will say, he or she eats. You see, the spelling will change, we'll add an S to it. That's going to be crucial because in Spanish, as you go through all those different subjects, whether they're singular or plural, you will actually have to face a different spelling within the verb that will, of course, match the subject, okay? So, for today, what I want you to understand is what an infinitive is, which is the basic form of a verb, and that in English it translates as T-O in the form of the verb, and that unfortunately in Spanish you're not going to see a T-O in the front of the verb because that's Spanish, it's not English, it's a foreign language, remember? But what you're going to see is the ending, will, well, the verb will end with either way, A-R, E-R, or I-R, okay? Now, think about it, okay? Um, well, thank you very much for watching this instructional video. And I'm going to, well, wish you wonderful studying with this little lecture. And um, I'm hoping to see you soon in another instructional video. 
Hasta luego.